Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So, a couple of level ups ago, uh, by now, uh, I went ahead and did a bunch of little rank up level ups. And you guys said you like these types of videos, so you can kind of uh, keep track of what I'm doing with my account. Uh, I usually do these types of uh, level ups and rank ups uh, without making a video. But seems like people like to see them. So uh, as long as they're getting views, I will keep on doing them. All right. So right now, I'm just clearing out my inventory to make things a little bit faster later. And, you know, we're just going to sell a bunch of them. I have tons and tons of ISO. Uh, by by running the arena like I do, I, I, I don't really have ISO problems. And if I have a shortage, just open up a bunch of crystals and I'll have uh, ISO once again. All right. So that's what this first uh, level up is. Uh, Terax, who we got in a surprise uh, crystal opening. Uh, I just had never gotten, I didn't go for him when he was in the arena and I just never pulled him from a crystal. So he was, he was an interesting uh, surprise there. Uh, didn't, didn't awaken him or anything like that, but I do want all of my five stars to be at at least rank three. And I believe at this point, uh, he's the only one that's not. And I think I went ahead and took him all the way up. I can't remember. Um, yeah, I think I think I did. I'm looking at this now because of the uh, T4 class catalyst. And I recently ranked up a lot of cosmic. So I didn't have a lot of cosmic uh, catalysts. But in opening up some crystals and uh, T4 class catalyst crystals, I got a bunch more uh, cosmic. And I don't have a cosmic right now as a six star that I wanted to take up. So this was good. Get him to, to rank three uh, for the arena grind. Okay. And as you can see there, you know, I'm done with, with him right there. Uh, and I, I do have uh, T1 alphas in my overflow. You saw one. Um, I was uh, short by one or something like that, but. Uh, it's just because I haven't gone and claimed it yet. All right, so that's what the level up looks like after I took him to uh, rank three, okay? Now, this next level up is the reason that you are seeing this video now rather than earlier, okay? Uh, so you can see here, I'm going through my skill champions, and look at that. Hip monkey. So by now, you should have already seen my mystery rank up theater where I took Hit Monkey to rank five. I don't have him as a six star. And that five star, oh my goodness, he was one of my MVPs for finishing up Act Six Exploration. And of course, by now, you may have already seen that as well. Uh, the final moments uh, of it, but he was a beast for fighting that Grandmaster. I mean, the damage he did was just crazy. And I was so happy. I, I first started thinking about taking him up when I saw Legacy shrug off uh, the Liquid Courage and Double Edge debuffs the poison and the bleed. And I was like, oh, I got to get him up. But I wanted to open up some crystals in case I pulled him out of a crystal. Now, he was in a crystal, a nexus, and I didn't choose him. At that time, I didn't really know uh, much about him other than I knew he could do, you know, some good damage. I didn't know he could shrug off suicides. Um, but I stand by uh, the choice that I made then. You can look back on the channel if you want to see that one. All right. But in any case, we took hit monkey to rank four in this video. And I thought about clipping that part out and including it in the uh, other video where I was ranking him up. So you could see the rank up to four rank up to five, but 
uh, I decided not to do that. See, there's the uh, score for the level up right now. Now, the reason I didn't do that is because I like to um, flow chronologically. So since I didn't rank him to four and then five, I didn't really like to put that in a video together. I ranked him up to four during this level up, and I didn't rank him up to five until a couple of level ups away, I believe. Uh, it might have been in the next level up after this one. No, no, no. Uh, it was two level ups after this one. Yeah. And let's see, or the level up after this one. I, I don't remember. Uh, that's another reason why I try to uh, do them in order. So uh, this is just a four star. I take up my four stars uh, to rank four, some of them to rank five, uh, because that helps in the Summoner Trials arena. But I was already taking my four stars to rank five still because I enjoy it. And I try to take up champs that are fun to play with, or if I don't have them already ranked up, you know, as a six star or as a five star, I might rank them up uh, as a four star just to play around with them because I will use them uh, if they're ranked five in the Summoner Trials. Uh, and the more rank fives you have, the easier the Summoner Trials is to complete, you know, getting all the milestones. I think I have at this point close to 80 rank five uh, four stars. So people ask me that question, do you still rank up four stars in today's meta? Yes. Yes, I do. Uh, and it's great for the Summoner Trials. If you're not a hardcore arena grinder, it really doesn't um, make too much sense unless you're at that level. Uh, but for me, yeah. And, and, and it's just fun. It's fun. All right. So that's the level up um, after taking him up to rank five. Now, this is the next level up. So Hit Monkey went up after this level up. The next level up after this one is when Hit Monkey went up. So you see we have a tech advancement on. Now, this is the time if I don't have especially tech, if I don't have a good tech that I want to take up and there's a tech advancement and a, a level up, I'm going to my four stars. And that's what I'll do. And I'll start at the lowest level because quite frankly, most of the uh, tech champions that I like are already at rank five. I've already taken up the best tech champions to rank five. So now I just start from the bottom and start taking champs up to rank four. And soon I'll have none, like uh, I believe Mystic. I think it's Mystic. I don't have any at rank three. So if it's a Mystic Advancement, it's going to either have to be a five star, a six star, or I'm going to have to take up a four star to rank five. And it really just depends on my resources because taking a champ to rank five still uses those class catalysts that you might need or will need for your six stars and the five stars, taking them up. Um, but so I decided to take up uh, Iron Man just because. And you can see here, I had some uh, Mystic ISO expiring. Ain't worried about all that. And uh, so we're just going to level up uh, our four stars just to rank four at this time. And then next time a tech advancement and a level up hits, if I don't have a tech to rank up, then I will do this again. See if I have any rank threes left. If I don't, I have to make a choice. Is, you know, a four star that I have worth it? Or should I just go ahead and take up a uh, five star? You know, so, um, or a six star. We'll see, you know. Um, and I took up War Machine. He just got a rework. So he's actually pretty decent now, even though I don't really use him. So didn't mind taking him up uh, as a four star. But uh, unless I take them to rank five, I'm probably not going to use them in the arena. 
because I have so many uh, rank five, four stars, what I do now is I just go ahead and run my maxed out uh, four stars. That usually gives me about uh, a little over a million points. And after that, uh, I just run them again when they're ready. So it takes me about four, four tries, four times to go through. All right. And you see also what I'm doing here uh, to get more points in the tech advancement, not just leveling up my champions, but also uh, increasing their SIG level using those signature stones. That also gives me points. Now, I chose to do Warlock because he's already rank five and I use him all the time, all the time in war, uh, in, in questing when I need to, the event quest, uh, the chapter for tech, I use him all the time. Uh, and you see it lags all the time uh, uh, there. So uh, I went ahead and used up those. And then of course I had some two stars and all I'm doing here I just went through and I am putting them on the one that is the closest to max C. That's what I usually do. Um, and then I'm just clicking here so I could see if I have anybody else. Uh, and you see I have a one to two six star rank up gem. I'm saving that one. All right, so that is the tech advancement score there. Now that might be enough to get the one to 10%, which is what I usually shoot for. If I'm not going to go for the 1% to 10%, I'm just going to just do the milestones. But if I want to get the top 10%, I like to put up about 130,000. But over 100,000 is usually good enough. But you guys know me. I, I like to do overkill. So I'm just opening up some crystals because opening these crystals up uh, not the Grandmaster Crystals, but opening these crystals, uh, the PMCs, the three stars, the four stars, uh, the five stars, uh, and six stars, they all give points towards the advancement. And uh, I used to open up a lot of PHCs, but Kabam changed the uh, rewards, I think, for the objective, so we don't get PHCs anymore we now get those Grand Master Crystals, which is good because in the PACs, you know, it was outdated for a lot of us at the Thronebreaker level, you know, and I, I had over a million, all right? So you see there, skill advancement, that is what we ended up with uh, for the skill advancement. Uh, that includes um, all the rank ups that you guys have already seen at this point in time. Okay, didn't didn't have them in the video, but I did a lot of skill rank ups, at least three uh, five star and two six stars. Uh, and here's the result. Of course, we got the uh, top 10 percent. No surprise there. Okay. Um, but that is what I'm usually aiming for uh, when I'm going for, you know, these big points. Okay. Now, here is another, the, the final uh, level up here. And you can see there, the final event is not an advancement. Okay, so it is what it is. You know, I was waiting to see what that final one was. Because as you see here, I've got some champions that are needing to be leveled up. I was saving it because I might have had a mutant advancement. Then I could have take my my new archangel uh, to twenty five, you know, but it didn't uh, line up that way. So we're just gonna take archangel up to uh, twenty five, no more. Uh, use up some of that uh, uh, ISO there, and archangel actually has some uh, decent prestige. He has some decent prestige. He's my he was my first uh, five star rank four champion. Um, but as you can see there, we took him up, and then we got Kitty Pride. See, I was I was hoping for a mutant advancement so I could just kill it. But 
it is what it is. And I want to take, I think Kitty Pride at this point is the only uh, champion I have a uh, five star that is below rank three. Now you saw earlier that I got rid of my rank three five star, but we were grinding for Kitty Pride in the arena. Obviously we got her and now I want to take her up. So I was a little short of, um, and that's not a short joke, uh, uh, of, uh, some resources, but I have plenty of them, you know, and we're just going to pop them. Yep. And look at that. We, we got just what we needed. Um, they, they, I, I, I don't even know what to say about their, uh, algorithms. Uh, but anyway, so we went ahead and, uh, grab that resource right quick so we can continue, uh, ranking her up. Now I've heard some really nice things about Kitty Pride. So eventually she is going to get ranked all the way up, but for right now, there's no rush. Now in a past mutant advancement that happened before the, um, before this level up, you can see she's already awakened. During that mutant advancement, I went ahead and put a bunch of six stones into her. Um, I don't know how beneficial that was, but looking at her sig ability, it looked like it was pretty beneficial. Um, but, uh, I have not taken her, you know, all the way up just yet. Uh, that'll be in another video and it'll probably be when, uh, the mutant advancement, uh, hits the, uh, level up or I just don't have anybody else that I want to take up. All right. So, uh, there we go. She is rank three. So I no longer have any five stars that are below rank three. Okay. Those are very annoying. Very, very annoying. All right. So, Look at that level up. That is the score we ended up with. I went a little crazy, a little cray cray, but in a good way. All right. So that's the result. Of course, we got the top 10%. No surprise there. Right. Uh, and, and those uh, tier four class catalyst crystals, that's really the big boy prize that I want when I'm going for the top 10 for these events. And there's my ranking. Uh, I, I got rank three in one event and I didn't even know because I don't normally come over here. I just claim it right quick. All right. But anyway, that's going to do it guys. Thank you all for watching the video. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Lots of rank ups, uh, take care and you all have a blessed day.